So the question I pose, uh, <laughs> just for a little entertainment here today, an entertainment to just distract for a few moments so you could let that natural realization just kind of come into this reality, just to kind of absorb while we had a few laughs and, and a few tears. But the reality is that it is both. It is both. Uh, or none at all. Or it doesn't matter. Or shut up, Adama. Stop asking these stupid <laughs> questions. <laughs> but we had fun, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. Nothing holy and spiritual in the questions or the answers. It was just a time to smile. But my dear friends, uh, it's both. It's this openness to the uh, the transformation that occurs. And I'm going to talk more about that in just a moment. But the transformation is absolutely brutal and thorough. Brutal in a way that sometimes you wished you had died in the middle of the night without pain. Brutal, it comes over every part of you. Enlightenment isn't about just having a little better human life, but enlightenment will get you a better human life. But you can't put the better human life first, but so many on the spiritual path actually do. So many who I've worked with in the past, in the mystery schools, ones who have been my students, and even the ones who have allowed their enlightenment, have said that it was all about the Enlightenment. I've said that nothing mattered more than our, their Enlightenment, but yet their everyday actions and their thoughts and their choices – probably choices being first – were not about Enlightenment. They were about really just trying to have a little better human life. And this sets up a tremendous conflict a huge conflict that each and every one of you are facing in your everyday lives. You say you want enlightenment. Most of you don't even know what enlightenment is uh, – not from up here, but you know it from in here. But you say you want enlightenment, but yet the day-to-day -day actions and choices are really about just a little better human life. You feel it so deeply, this thing called enlightenment, but you sell out so easily for this thing called a little better human life. Every one of you knows exactly what I'm talking about. Every one of you knows the contradiction that you live within, no doubt. But today we're here to let it be okay to have that contradiction. It's, it's natural. No sense in trying to fight it anymore. Tell yourself that you're doing a bad job with this thing called enlightenment. Wonder where you're going to get the next new message that's going to put it all together. My dear friends, it's natural, this, this whole conflict between a better human life and true enlightenment, the whole conflict between what is happening for each and every one of you, a transformation of the truest and the deepest sense. It is happening for every one of you here, watching online, watching later, no doubt about it. And also this <clears throat> tendency to sell out to a better human life. So today, one of the things I'm asking of each and every one of you is to be okay with that, to be absolutely, perfectly okay with that.